I was diagnosed with breast cancer in January 2021. My immediate thought was a gloomy end to life. But my sister, Dr. Helen, assured me there have been many advances on breast cancer and advised me to go through treatment. I didn't allow myself to have negative thoughts because everyone was very supportive, especially my immediate family, the doctors and nurses, friends and colleagues. My family held daily prayers for me and friends offered support. But after each chemotherapy cycle, where I had to deal with five days of fatigue, diarrhea, loss of appetite, and a painful bloated stomach, at times, it can be very challenging to stay positive. I am so used to attending my own personal needs. So to ask someone to do things for you, like preparing food, which you may not end up liking, can be stressful. But I have to learn to ask for help and to express what help I needed. Losing my hair after my first chemo treatment was sad. I decided to go bold in Holy Saturday. It was almost like a solemn ceremony. But my nephews and nieces loved my new look and my siblings were excited about headgears and hair pieces. Well, at least I never have to worry about a bad hair day. As an elected assemblywoman, I also worried about not going for regular visits to my constituency, about not attending to their needs. I'm advised by my doctor to refrain from public events or undergoing treatment due to my lowered immune system. I thank my colleagues and volunteers who stood in for me and continued their best to help serve the people. To my constituents, thank you for understanding and please know that I have a team of volunteers and staff to help. Yes, we are definitely stronger together. To my sisters currently battling with breast cancer, we shall overcome. The precious gift of survival is ours to share, to give us and others the strength to overcome all pain and challenges. May our appreciation to our friends and loved ones build meaningful relationships and strengthen the bonds that we have. Early detection of breast cancer is absolutely critical. And the mobile ultrasound and awareness will help save lives. To all who are hearing this Kinabalu Pink Ribbon concert videos, I hope you will give generously to this cause. Kotahuadan, Terima kasih. Thank you.